all right good morning and um, welcome to my tutorial so today i'm just going to briefly show you how to make this mood board inside of um, powerpoint and um, it's just something very simple for people that are not uh, savvy with um, illustrator so let's just move in and uh, i'm going to close uh, this powerpoint here because i have it um, opened before now so if you're not illustrator savvy or graphic design savvy this can help you this can help uh, events managers and planners to make uh the artboards they want uh please don't mind the noise around i just made this in the office while i worked so let's just jump into this so the very this is powerpoint and you know you have your default um default title bar menu bar and your default layout so the thing you do is to go to the design um tab where you have your uh, slide design and go to the extreme right and check the slide size and choose custom slide size and then you have to select between landscape and portrait uh, of the slides and the notes and handouts so we choose portrait and in the drop down menu up you see different paper sizes from A4 to A3 to B4 overhead banner anything you want but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to be using the A4 paper size because that's what we want to use for our mood board so we'll click ok and you either uh, you either minimize or you uh, ensure fit for uh, the page but in this case I chose the minim uh, to maximize because I want my paper to show to show fully on my page so here we have it we have the default uh, PowerPoint uh, slide so we insert our pictures go to the folder where you want your pictures where you have your pictures I mean and then you choose them and um, you can select as many pictures as possible but in this case I'm just gonna be selecting six by holding control and clicking over oh seven holding control and clicking over and then while it are still selected you can actually scale them together make sure that they're all selected together and then you delete what you don't want from there like so then you begin to place so for the purpose of this tutorial just to show you how to do it inside of powerpoint uh, we're not going to be using the old detail which i showed you at the initial stage all you just have to do is to follow through the process so we go through selecting the pictures and scaling them the way we want them like you see or the way you deem them fit to you know the way you want them and so we are, are done with this so you click everything and drag down like so so if you are not um, savvy with design like I said earlier this just makes it simple and easy for anyone that is not so you select your insert to so insert your title the title is uh, in your text box you click and drag over it and then you go uh, type, type the text you want in inside of the uh, box like that Um, and then you change your you change your <coughs> excuse me you change your text size and your f uh, text format you change everything in this case I'll use Gotham instead of the Helvetica because that was a long thing I just really want this to be a very short tutorial I'm just supposed to show you how this is done easily if you don't know how to use tools like CorelDRAW or Illustrator or Marvelous Designer so this just helps you to do it quick and fast you don't have to give a graphic designer to do that for you all right so you click and drag and um, you save as PDF by going to uh, the Acrobat window and selecting create PDF so first off it tells you to save your PDF so you save it as the name you want I, I, I type mood, mood test this time and then you save it in the folder you want please note all the photos here are not mine they are from the internet so this uh, since it's a sample video uh, just to show you the process okay so it immediately you save it it opens up in your acrobat if you have acrobat installed it's gonna open up immediately and if you don't have it installed you just might have to open it with your internet uh, browser like your Chrome or your Internet Explorer or any other application that opens PDF but in my case I use Acrobat so this is also the second way to save it you go to file and you click save as 
and on that drop down menu you, you select uh, PDF select PDF and then you change the name I change it in this case to mood test 2 and uh, you browse your PC to add it to a location on your PC and I'm just gonna let it remain in the same folder for um, with the first one but with this option you have um, with this method you have a whole lot of option if you have like a thousand pages and you want to save a current page you have the current page um, um, option you can you can maximize the size or minimize it you have a whole lot of options but for you if you don't need it actually you just need to save it like the first way I saved it uh, hope you got something from this tutorial okay so like before I go you can also Creating subsequent um, slides also just keeps the size to the initial one you set so it doesn't have to reset until you create a new document. I, I hope you learned from this. Thank you for watching and thank you for keeping in touch. Uh, you can as well subscribe to my channel to get more tips and tricks of this. Uh, I'll see you. Please subscribe. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.